That's right, Carrie. Mike Bercovici was raised just over the hill in the San Fernando Valley, but the first school that recruited him was Arizona State. He's been a Sun Devil ever since and hasn't looked back, but we do. Oh, go kiddo, go kiddo, come on honey. <laughs> Look at you. When Michael was real young, um, I had him play football uh, at, for the Westlake Braves. They won the, what they call the, the PYFL Super Bowl. I was his offensive coordinator, but every time I'd call a play and we'd signal it from the sideline, he'd never call the play that I told him to because he was because he was the manager. He knew what he wanted to do and then he'd call whatever he wanted. And most of the time, his plays worked over mine. Me and my dad used to get in fights over what plays should be called and whatnot. And, um, you know, just waking up in the morning, having those 8 a.m. games, waking up, my dad would make me breakfast at 6 a.m., you know, way too early to be up at 6 a.m. for being an eight-year-old or whatever the case is. But I, I know I'm a better play caller than my dad, but he'll never tell you that. Calabasas, California, the town that plays host to Justin Bieber, The Rock, and the Kardashians, is the same one that a certain ASU quarterback was born and raised in. With all of his material needs seemingly taken care of, what accounts for Mike Berkovici's ambition? When you give him something to study or to learn, he will, he's like a sponge. He will continue to learn until he perfects it. And I don't care whether it's video, uh, whether it's a football game, a video games, checkers, chess. If you want to play him in checkers, you better watch out because he's going to study and learn the game so he can beat you every single time. Whether I'm playing pool or ping pong or whatever it is, I don't like losing. Whether it was ignoring his dad's play calls or pumping up his teammates, Michael played the role of vocal leader from the time he picked up a football. Number two, Michael Bercovici with the touchdown. We would go to camps and there would be a kid that's five years older than him and he'd get in their face and tell them what to do, like not shy in any way. Michael started his high school career at Westlake, but transferred to Taft High School two games into his junior season. He wasn't getting any playing time. It was the best moment in Michael's life. And that moment was playing for Matt Kerstetter at Taft High School. And I got to tell you, that changed everything for Michael. Yeah, I built a relationship with him unlike any coach I've ever had. I mean, just I, I, I think I sacrificed every single one of my lunches in high school to meet with him and watch film and prepare for an opportunity like this. And uh, so that's why I would say it's the greatest move of my life. Just the, just the uh, relationship I have with my coach and the players on that team was unlike anything I've ever been a part of. As a senior, Michael broke five single-season Taft passing records. He graduated early and left for Tempe. After losing the quarterback battle to Taylor Kelly as a freshman, supposed experts thought Michael might transfer, but his loyalty to the Sun Devils prevailed. He said, Dad, here's what I think. I would rather play for ASU for one year than play for anyone else in the country. With a Hail Mary win over USC in the Coliseum and a victory over Stanford's nationally ranked number two defense, his heroics seem like something from a Hollywood script, but for Michael Bercovici, it's just part of his story. That's not the end of the Mike Bercovici story. He'll be back next fall as a redshirt senior and is in line for that one starting season he told his dad about. Mike had 10 touchdowns to just three interceptions in the three games he started this year. Sun Devil fans hope that's a sign of things to come. That's all from Los Angeles. Carrie, now back to you in Phoenix.